in this video, <coughs> I'm going to discuss uh, question number nine from uh, Cambridge International exam paper of 2009. The question is, you've got a circle and uh, this is an angle of theta. So what they're saying is angle A or B is in theta, which is in radians. Okay. And the first question is, there are three questions. In the case where theta is 1, calculate the area of triangle BOC. They're asking us to find this area. So this is a semicircle. So you should know, let us write the formula that you should be knowing. So first is area of a circle. Area of a circle is pi r squared. Okay. From this, you can write area of semicircle. M semicircle should be half of this. So you can say it is half pi r squared. Okay. And an area of a sector, you should know the formula if the angle is in radians, area of a sector is half r squared theta okay so yeah i don't want to i don't want to go into proving this but this you should remember or it may be in your formula sheet where theta should be in your theta theta should be in radians okay that's the condition so i'm looking at this and say okay if i want to find this if i can find the area of this and then take away from the area of the semicircle will give me this so we know, what do we know? Okay, we know R is, so now R is 8 centimeters and theta is 1 radians. Rad means radians. So area of sector, area of sector, let me read the sector. So we, I'm talking about this sector, A, O, B. I'll write the formula area of sector A O B is half R squared theta. So I'm going to put the value of R and theta, yeah? So that is half times 8 squared times 1. Okay. And 8 squared is 64 and half of 64 is 32 centimeter squared. Let me read whether the, yeah, it's centimeter squared. Now, what is area of semicircle area, area of semicircle we already wrote is half pi r squared so half pi times 8 squared which is again 64 the half of 64 is 32 pi centimeter squared therefore area of sector b or c would be the semicircle minus this. So that is 32 pi minus 32. You can simplify this a little. So if you factor out the 32 times pi minus 1 centimeter squared. Okay? So let us move on to the next question. Find the area of the <coughs> area of theta for which the per perimeter of sector A or B is half the perimeter of sector B O C. So you should know the formula of arc length. Okay. Arc length. The formula of arc length is R theta. Okay. Now when you're talking about perimeter, a, per, as the perimeter of sector A O B would be these two radii, this is 8 centimeter, plus this arc, okay? So, and the perimeter of this would be 8 plus 8 plus, so let us first find the, uh, where are we, okay? So we know this formula, and what is circumference of circle? Okay, circumference, so I'll write in short, circumference of circle, you should be knowing which is 
2 pi r, which implies circumference of semicircle is half this, which is pi r. Okay, so can you write perimeter? So let me write perimeter of A O B or sector A O B. Sorry, sector A O B would be. Can I say that is O A plus O B plus arc AB. I'm going to show an arc like this. So this can be the notation of an arc. So I'll show you the diagram. So what I'm saying is a perimeter of this sector is OA plus OB plus this arc length. Okay, so we know we know OA is 8. We know OB is also 8 plus R times theta. So that is 8 times Theta is 1 here, so which is 8 plus 8 is 16, or 8 times 3 is 24 centimeters. Okay, so now what is perimeter? Perimeter, uh, sorry, so the question was you want to find the, so we'll write not 1. So can we write this as r times theta? So which is r times, that's what we want to find. We want to find theta. So, so let me also delete this. So this becomes, so this is 16 plus 8 theta. Okay, so now what is perimeter? Perimeter of B or C would be again, would be perimeter of B or C would be OB plus OC plus arc BC. Okay. So, where are we? So, it will be o, OB plus OC plus arc BC or BOC. Okay. Which is again 8 plus 8 plus R is 8 times, what's the angle here? If this is theta, the complete circle is 2 pi, so the semicircle is pi. So can I say this is, this angle is pi minus theta. Okay, so here the angle corresponding to this arc B O C or B C is pi minus theta. So can I say that is times pi minus theta, which is 16 plus 8 times pi minus theta. So what are we saying now? We want the per this perimeter to be half of this. So let me write that. So we want perimeter of A O B A O B A O B is half times the perimeter of B O C. So we know the perimeter of A O B is sixteen plus eight theta and that I want to set equal to half times 16 plus 8 times pi minus theta. So let me use a big bracket here. So this is 16 plus 8 theta. So if you do the halves, so that is 8 plus 4 times pi minus theta. So little of algebra now, so this is 16 plus 8 theta is equal to 8 plus 4 pi minus 4 theta. I'm distributing 4 to So let us bring the thetas together. So this is 8 theta 
plus 4 theta is equal to, I'll bring the 16 to the other side, so that is 4 pi plus 8 minus 16. So that is 12 theta is equal to 4 pi 8 minus 16 is minus how much? 8 minus 16 is 8. So I can divide all by 4 now. So if I divide this by 4, I can divide this by 4 and this by 4. So what happens now? So this is 3 theta is equal to pi minus 2. Okay, so theta should be pi by 3 minus two-thirds. So if this is pi by 3 minus two-thirds, this will be the answer. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.